We'll guide you through how to make a Spigot Minecraft server. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. A Spigot Minecraft server is super useful as you can then go and use plugins. So let's get started. First of all, come out of Minecraft. Now what we need to do is go and open up a web browser just like so and come to a search engine and you want to go and search for bucket spigot like so. And you then want to come to the site, getbucket.org. On the site, what you then want to do is choose the version you want to go and get. Personally, I like to get the most up-to-date one, which is for 1.21. So we can come over to the right and go and click on download like so. And it then says you're about to download go and click on it and it should then go and start. It's now gone and downloaded, but before we get any further, a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Apex Hosting. They should be your go-to Minecraft server host. At the moment, you can get 25% off your first invoice. I'll put a link down below. The great thing about Apex is, is that on the checkout page, you can go and choose the checkout version. So literally you can go and type in Spigot, choose the version you want, and you can then go and get your Spigot server so easily. They offer one-click install mod packs, DDoS protection, and many other features as well, which you can go and check out. As I said, there'll be a link down below. Come to your downloads and you should see Spigot here. Now right-click on your desktop, hover over new, and go and click on folder. And you just want to go and name this what you want. I'll name it Spigot server, like so. Drag and drop the Spigot jar into the folder like so. Now we can go and open up that folder and here it is. You want to go and rename this file, click on it once and then click on it again. And you can then go and remove the version from the end, including the dash or hyphen, so it looks like that. Then you want to go and right click, hover over new and you want to go and select text document. You can then go and click off it and open it up. Now in the description of this video, you'll go and see a line which looks like this. What you want to do is click, hold and copy it like so. And then you want to go and right click, press copy and paste it in this document you just made. This is gonna go and give your server four gigabytes of RAM. If this is too much, you can always go and reduce it, but it should be a good amount. Then click on file, click on save as, change the save as type to all files and you want to go and name it run.bat like so. And you can then go and click on save and you can close it and you should then have run.bat here then all you need to do is double click on it like so, and it should go and run. If you go and get some Java error here, like I did here, don't worry, yours may be the same or it may be different. What you need to do is come back to your web browser and you want to come to java.com. Once you're here, you want to go and download Java here, go and download it and install it. After you've done that, you can then come to back here and come to the bottom and we want to go and get Java SE development kit like so. Scroll down and because this is saying only up to Java 22 is supported, what I'm going to do is go and click on JDK 21. I'll then select Windows and I'll go and get the installer. Wait for it to download and we can install it. I also went and uninstalled my Java JDK 23 as well. We can then go and close off this and go and run it again. Now it should go and work. The Java error is now solved. Now what we need to do is go and read and agree to the EULA. So close it, you'll go and see this EULA file, open it up, make sure you go and read and agree to this. You can copy and paste it, I already have. And then what you could do is change false to true. Click on file and click on save. Then what you want to do is go and run, run.bat again. It's now finished, as you can see it says done. So what you can now do is go and open up the Minecraft launcher. Now this server here is for Minecraft 1.21. So we need to go and click on installations at this top and we need to go and make an installation for that. Click on new installation. For the version, you want to go and type in 1.21 like so. This one here, you can go and give it a name and you can then click create. Here we are and so to join it, you can click on multiplayer. You can click on direct connection and just type in local host as it's on your computer. Click on join server and that's it. You've now joined your Spigot server. You can go and add plugins and things like that. And if you want others to go and join it, we've got a few videos on how you can do that. You can port forward or there are some other ways you can do it as well.